<clears throat> Giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it. Shalom to the Akim that's out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. First and foremost, uh, I want to say the Wadi Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for giving me and the fellow Akim the opportunity to do, to do these lessons, these videos, the opportunity to go out down the highways and on the hedges, all to edify and warn the nation of Israel. Salak in the nation of Israel to the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans, the twelve tribes of Israel, the ones that, the ones the law statutes and commandments as well as the promises were given to you. All right, Shalom. Warm. So this is a um <clears throat> a really quick video. As I was thinking about yesterday, that we had a thirty a proud to be thirty third degree Mason, you know, pop up, you know, at camp, you know, and you know we, we were he really wasn't, but you know these these jakes that think that they Masons and really not. You know they they they're just a, a, a it's just a sad case you know, but um uh you know this scripture you know came into mind I pulled it out yesterday at camp you know because he's you know he said uh you know you don't got to do this you don't got to do that it's not this it's not that like he was just he's just extremely fucking proud to be a mason man you know to side hands with this devil and this doesn't just go towards him this goes towards any jakes that's that loves this society man that loves this system you know you all going to bow, bow down to the sword man when the lord brings the sword y'all all going to bow down to the slaughter as the book of deuteronomy said man all right uh as well as isaiah all right so uh this is the book of uh, jeremiah chapter 6 verse 10 it says, to whom shall I speak and give warning that he that they may hear? Behold, their ears uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. So this is for all you two thirds, man. They don't want to get up. They don't want to. Yeah, they don't want to get up. Wake, wake, wake from wake up from your sleep, man. You got to wake up, you know, and that's what we're out. That's what we're out there to do and sit here, do these lessons, these videos. To edify and warn you, man. That's why we say edify and warn you. So it says to give warning. What do you mean warning? We mean warning you that if you don't get right, you're going to be left out here, man. When the Lord brings judgment, you're going to be a part of it. You're going to be in, in, you know, you're going to be left out there and you're going to be swallowed up by his judgment, man. And you don't want that. Me personally, I don't. You know, I don't want it. You know. We sitting here telling you these prophecies that that have been kicking off. We have told you this, so like we have told you this for years, man. You people didn't want to hear it. So then you got what you got, man. All right. It said that ear is uncircumcised. What's an uncircumcised ear? An ear, an ear that can't hear the word, man. An unclean ear. You circumcise. You circumcise it to this truth. But the un the uncircumcised is going to be left out there, man. It says. And cannot and they cannot hearken. Well, that's pretty much what an uncircumcised ear is. They can't hearken. They can't hear. It's like they're deaf. All right. It says, "Behold, the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is unto them of approach. They have no delight in it." All right. So that that's the same guy with that's the same thing with this guy that popped up yesterday. That's the same thing with you Jakes out there that don't want to wake up and come back to the voice of the Lord. Y'all gonna be left out there, man. It says, therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And that and that Jake that came up yesterday, that's a prime example, a prime example of why we're going through what we're going through today, man. You know, a prime example of why we're going through what we're going through today. Okay. It says, therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And I, I am weary with holding it in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad. And when he makes his, known, his words known unto you people, man. It's not going to be nice, man. It's not going to be a nice thing. Okay. Uh, it says, and upon the assembly of young men together, for even the husband with the wife shall be taken. The aged with him that is full of days. So that means everybody. Nobody's escaping the judgment of Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Verse 12. And their houses shall be turned unto others with their fields and wives together. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land. Saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. For e for from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, every one that dealeth falsely. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying, 
peace, peace when there is no peace. So you have you you have peace here. That sounds like Jeremiah eight, uh, chapter eight, verse eleven, right? Peace, you know, sitting up there saying slightly healing the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly saying peace, peace when there is no peace. Yeah, peace and love, prosperity, Black Lives Matter, and all this other craziness going on, man. Trying to give them a, a reason of hope. Oh yeah, you get the you you hey you could be the thirty third degree basic with us. It's not happening like that, man. You know the things you got to do to be a straight up 33rd degree Mason. <laughs> you know, the things you got to do. And I might even get flagged for even saying that, man. You know, but the things you got to do to do that, you know, but Jake will, will, will willingly do it because all you got to do is is tell Jake that they something in this society when they really not. Yeah, I understand, man. You, you never going to be anything in this society, man. You know, and not not saying to where is you not going to be able to do anything. But you're always going to be looked at as as still a so-called, you know, person of color, man. You're still going to be the lowest of the planet, man. Now, you do the best you can. You get yourself a decent job. You can have a decent house, have a decent car, you know, do what you got to do. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you still are going to be looked at as the lowest of this planet, man. Stop trying to side with your enemy, man. Stop trying to side with your enemy. All right. Yeah, you could be a 33rd degree Mason with it. And then, and then he, he proudly does it, man. Proudly, proudly does it for, for Massa E, man. Anything, anything for Massa E. Anything for Massa E. Right? But when there is no peace. Because you following other philosophies and not coming back to the voice of the Heavenly Father is not peace. And this is why you still walking around, roaming around, doing, you know, trying to, you know, going to and fro, trying to seek, trying to seek some knowledge and stuff like that. You know, Jake, Jake isn't even, isn't even sure of his own belief, man. And it's sad, man. You know, because yesterday he told us it was a secret, the stuff that you got. Yesterday he told us it's not a secret, but then all of a sudden it is a secret when we start exposing that shit, man. That means you not sure. You're not even sure. But the thing is, why, why we can never be confounded, man, it's because this truth is undebatable, man. It's undebatable, as the brother said. It's undebatable. And 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 uh, we are absolutely positive that this is the truth because nothing debunked it. We are positive that this is the truth because nothing has debunked it. This truth can't be debunked. I don't care how many debunk debunkation videos you do, if that even is a damn word. I don't care how many debunkation videos you do. Try to say, oh, the truth is the this is debunk, this is debunk. Because guess what? We always come back with an answer. Then we don't hear shit else. And if you can't get it, then that's when the name calling start. You, you know, the, the, the subject changing starts. You know, if you can't get it, then you just can't get it. A lot of you people can't even break down Genesis, Genesis, the first chapter and the first verse of who that's talking about. Come on, man. Verse 15. Were they all were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Watch this. It said, nay, no, nay is no. They were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Didn't even have a second of thought, man. Like, yeah, maybe this is going off. But, you know, I do it anyway. No, nah, they just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. You know, like this guy yesterday. Psh, yeah, I'm a 33, you know. Proud about, proud as hell about it, man. Proud as hell. Right? Neither uh, It says, therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. At the at the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Shah. So, you want to sell with your enemy? Well, what's, what's that? No hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So you want to side, you want to go hand in hand with our enemy? Have at it. You know, have at it. Right? Um, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, shall stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and where and walk where, therein? And ye shall find rest with uh, ye, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. And people hate and what's that? What that? What's that scripture? The wicked hate hate the light, man. Slightly paraphrasing, I believe it's somewhere in that Isaiah. Maybe I can't remember, but the wicked hates the light, man. 
You know, they don't want to be broken free from the from the from the um from the spell, from the deep sleep. You know? They don't want to be shook, shaken up from their from their from their sleep, man. You know, they still these niggas still snoring. And they absolutely love it. I like sleep. You know, but I don't like being spiritually asleep. You know? Well, if I could, you know, I, I, I like sleep when whenever whenever it is time to sleep. But my spirit all you know, the spirit always rolls, man. Because the first thing that pops the first thing that comes in my mind when I wake up, first thing, either prayer or a video. It's the first thing that pop that pops in my mind. What what video am I gonna do a little later or whenever I, whenever I feel like doing this video today? You know? And then I gotta get up, pray. And then and whatever else comes, you know, wherever else, whatever happens is whatever happens. But that proves that, but that that's your spirit still rolling, man. You people in the spiritual sleep, man. And you don't want to be wake, woken up, man. You don't want to be woken up because you said we tell we telling you to come back to the voice of the heavenly father. Because if you come back to the voice of the heavenly father, your answers, your 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 questions, and your problems are going to be solved, man. You know, you're going to find some at least some form of rest in this society, man. Some form of it. Nah, you don't want that. So we say the hell with you, man. <laughs> and if the Lord dealing with you, then he'll, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll deal with. But if not, then he not. We don't know if the Lord dealing with us. That's why we try to stay right by the Lord, man. That's why we try to stay right by the Lord. Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. You know. So anyway, Lord willing, the sister was edifying. You know, or if I can't call it a lesson, you know, it's just a, you know, short video, kind of thinking out loud to some degree. You know, I was just kind of thinking back on that on that situation yesterday. You know. So anyway, man, Lord willing, again, this lesson was edifying, giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, and sincere shalom to the Akhenis out there pushing the sincerity and the truth and the sound doctrine. Shalom.